It has been a while. Oh, it's not unlocked. It has been a while since we've been in the rig. We've done a few small trips, but for the most part, it's just sitting out here completely empty because we moved everything out. We thought we were gonna sell it. Now we're not gonna sell it. Like every cabinet in here, empty. We even took apart the whole kids' bunk room area. It Everything has been taken apart. Everything has been taken out and the shelving is completely bare. We got rid of a lot of things. Some things had broken. We could wield some things. So now we have to reorganize this RV. We're going on a 10 day trip to Kansas City to visit some family. And I've got to get some stuff organized in here so that we can get going and have a place for all of our things. So I'm heading to the Dollar Tree. Come with me. All right, we're not gonna go hog wild today because number one, I can't afford it. It's right before Christmas. And number two, we're not moving back into it. We are gonna be in it for 10 days, but we're not moving back in. So we're gonna save the bigger hacks in organization for later when we take an assignment in it again. What do you think my budget should be? 30 bucks, 40 bucks? For what? For RV organizers. 50 bucks, I don't know. It was a little bit crazy because it's December and it's Dollar Tree. I spent $64. But I'm excited. I've got some different things that I've never used before from the Dollar Tree. So let's go back to the rig and see what we got. I got a very wide assortment of uh, things to try out, mostly smaller things to organize small spaces. Uh, we have stuff like this where you can't really utilize that space much. One thing that really annoys me about this space here, I actually, I love that there is a desk space and I love utilizing this, but I don't love, there's no lighting. There's no lights under here. At night when I'm working on stuff, I have to turn on this light over here, um, but there's nothing right here. So I bought these little puck lights. I'm gonna see if they're bright enough. They might not be, I mean, they're Dollar Tree, but we're gonna try them out and I'm gonna stick them right here and see how they do. Okay, so they do come with this little thing for sticking up on the wall or there are magnets. Not bad, not bad. It is definitely a different tone. And then it's got the on and off switches at the top. I feel like that is a nice little light for my workspace. This is the USB light. There's no on and off switch. You just simply plug it into a USB and it gives off a pretty good amount of light. I could definitely see using this like inside a closet that maybe doesn't have a light. Our closets have lights, but they're very dim. So like something like this might work in there and it's $1.25. So if they don't last very long, like you can just replace it or use it temporarily until you get something a little bit more permanent. But for our purposes, for this upcoming trip, this is gonna be just fine. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Does anybody else have just an insane amount of remotes for their RV? Because it's wild. This is an adjustable container that we found, which was kind of cool. So I'm gonna use this for our remotes. All right, the thing I do think is cool about this is it expanded to exactly fit the width of my drawer. So that's really nice. This is still a pile of junk for now. We're just gonna close that up. I thought this was gonna be a really cool thing, but it's not gonna work for our trailer. This is a clip-on drawer for the refrigerator. And I liked it because I don't have a lot of drawers or organizers in my refrigerator. However, there is a lip right here. And unfortunately, this does not work with the lip. You can see I'm just gonna snap it if I keep trying to push it in. These are great. These are can organizers. And let me tell you, Dollar Tree stuff seems to be a little bit on the smaller side, which is perfect for RVs. Because look, that fits in there perfectly. And I'm gonna put cheese and different things that I don't want sliding all over my refrigerator in there. 
one of the tips that I had seen in a video was to buy one of these over the counter or over the cabinet door towel hooks. It's an adjustable size towel hook and someone had suggested putting it on your cabinet. The problem is it just feels like it's in the way. So I put it on my blinds back here. So I'm still playing with this to see if this hack is worthy. Previously in our kitchen, every nook and cranny was stuffed full of things, but since we're not currently living in it, I have a little bit more space to arrange things that I think are more efficient. So like up here, I've put these bins, these are book bins, but I've put in like our food saving like bags and stuff like that. Okay, I'm striking out. I searched and searched on all kinds of videos for ideas of things that maybe I hadn't used yet before. Look how thin it is. It's super thin. And I thought maybe my kids can put like their toothbrushes in it or little bathroom things. But look, it doesn't go behind the sink very well. I'd have to kind of like mount it up here if I wanted to use it. And I just, I don't think they're gonna utilize it. And if I put it over here, it hangs off the side. So I might have to find a different use for this thing. Yeah, that fits much better. This is an old hack that I've shared before, but it is a cereal box. Cereal boxes as trash cans in our bathrooms because they are so thin. Okay, inside here I have pencil holders. These are so cool because they are the perfect size to fit small things. And here's another little organizer that I picked up. And then of course they have all kinds of bins. So a lot of great things for your medicine cabinets. There are these plastic pegboards that I picked up, just this one actually, because John needs a shelf next to his bed that it has to be small because our bed moves up and down. Okay, it's, it's up and it feels pretty solid. Like I can't pull it off the wall. So now we're gonna take these little shelves and put them on there and I've got a basket that I'm probably going to put something on the bottom to hold the basket in place, but it's like the perfect size little tub. He can put chapstick or whatever in here and it's not going to like roll off of his shelf. One at the top. I like that. There's plenty of room. I think that will work really well. He could set his phone up here. We're going to be going through some cold weather and we took down all of our hanging stuff. So I bought a new one, $1.25. I put little uh, foam pads on it so they don't scratch the door all to pieces. And uh, we'll put this up here for our coats and we'll put one in my bedroom also. This room is gonna be a project. If you would like to see how we had it organized the last time that we lived in it, you can check out this video up here. I feel like it was pretty awesome. When we return from Hawaii, we will be taking a contract and traveling in the RV again. So I'm trying to get them excited about maybe doing something different since we have a clean palette in this garage and maybe changing it up a little bit. But for now, we're going to leave it as is since this is a shorter trip and we're going to be storing the RV while we are in Hawaii. I've got the curtains back up and their beds are there. We have the old couches haphazardly thrown in here, but there's no organization for their clothes. You guys have a really good idea on how to organize clothes that is more sturdy than just plastic, but not as heavy as like a whole wooden chest of drawers. Let me know in the comments, let me know, because I'm on the lookout. I did find a place for that organizer that I had in the kids' bathroom that didn't fit. Look, it fits perfectly. It just slid right up underneath there. And there's still enough of a lip right here. I think I can get pens in there. And then like my post-it notes and like paper clips and stuff. It'll be a really nice little spot to keep things organized and out of the way. 